Hello everybody, my name is Nick. I'm going to be showing some additional uh, control features for the Mogerfoger ring modulator pedal. Uh, if you look on the back of the pedal, you're going to see uh, a bunch of different jacks. All the Mogerfogers have a bunch of different jacks on the back. This one has carrier input, carrier output, and oscillator output. What we can do is we can actually change the carrier oscillator. Now the carrier oscillator is what the ring modulator pedal uses to add and subtract from your input signal to get that crazy, you know, tone. And that's set right there. But what we can do is we can actually use a different input signal, um, a sound source, as, the, uh, as a replacement for the carrier oscillator. So uh, that's what the carrier input is for, and I'm going to be using the Freakbox pedal, and then later I'll be showing the uh, Moog Theremin, actually. Um, so here we go. Uh, this is the Freakbox. We have the oscillator output, and I'm going to plug that right, right in there. Okay, so now we have oscillator output from here going into the ring mod here. Now this does not have to be on. But now we get something like this. Now that still sounds relatively close to uh, to the original um, oscillator, but part of that is because the waveform is very very simple. We've got that uh, triangular waveform. But if we start to turn that waveform up. something a little bit more complex for uh, for the ring modulator to use um, uh, for you know um, adding and subtracting from your input signal. Uh, let's see, let's try something here. I'm just gonna turn that envelope amount just all the way down. I'm gonna turn the seal up and let's turn that up. It's very dirty sounding uh, almost fuzzy. Now, we can try to turn this LFO up for, for whatever reason, it, the LFO is cut when you have something into the uh, input there. So that's not going to work, but You've already got plenty of stuff going on with this uh, complex waveform, you know. But what you can do with the ring modulator, you have the uh, LFO out. So we can plug the LFO out into either the frequency or we can plug it into the waveform. I'm going to plug it into the waveform. Okay, and that's where you're going to get something like... Okay, so now the rate here is affecting the waveform. Notice the freak box is not on. We're sending the LFO into the waveform input here, and we're sending the entire VCO back into the ring on. Sounds really cool. So here I have the Moog Theremin. This is the Etherwave standard. Uh, this is not the plus version, but we can still plug the sound source from it into the carrier input in the ring modulator. And that's where you get something like this.
Uh, by the way, I see you guys are looking at my Murph pedal over there on the left. Um, I uh, just got it a week ago. I'm still figuring it out. I'm still, you know, trying to trying to learn how it works, how uh, how to tweak it. So uh, give me some time, and uh, I'm really looking forward to doing a demo video for that. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching.